Hey guys, welcome to Baseball Performance 360, forging elite baseball performance through technology, sports science, and innovation. Today we're going to be discussing our baseball performance model. Uh, the model is going to com be composed of six different components, skill development, athletic development, mental skills performance, equipment selection, behavior management, game IQ. Skill development is going to include movement patterns, motor skill development, muscle memory, quality movement patterns. Um, it's built through repetition and developed through deep practice. Athletic development, every good athletic development program is going to include an initial evaluation and an assessment, um, strength and power training, energy system development, um, Basically, you know, whether you've got a cross-country runner or a football player, you need to train the proper energy system uh, that's going to be utilized in that specific sport. Recovery, nutrition, regeneration, things that are extremely important to all sports, especially baseball, so long with such a grind that uh, you really need to make sure you're putting the right things in your body and getting enough rest and letting yourself recover. Um, balance and stability, flexibility and mobility – Speed, agility, and quickness, you know, these are going to be items that are, you know, beneficial to athletes of all sports, especially baseball. Equipment selection. The number one thing that we're going to be concerned with as far as equipment selection goes within baseball is utilizing the proper size of equipment. Uh, making sure that you've got the right size bat, right size glove. If you're using, you know, too big of a glove or bat, it can alter, you know, your biomechanics and kind of throw your swing, your your pitching delivery, your throwing delivery out of whack. Um, using the appropriate accessories, both safe, both for safety and performance. Um, an example is, you know, that uh, at the facility that we operate, someone actually was. Uh, seeking out like a heart pad for someone for their their child who had a heart issue so you know different things like that other equipment considerations that we like to stay on top of are one the technology two the regulations three the pricing and four you know the proper use and care for the equipment if you uh, backtrack a couple back there to regulations this is actually a banner year for bat regulations uh, I, you know high school um, baseball is going to the BB Core um, standard, going from the BESR to the BB Core, which is kind of dumbing down the bats and um, decreasing their performance. And then USSA, which is one of the largest uh, youth organizations, um, I don't think they're making any technological changes with the bats. They just are requiring a little stamp. So essentially, everyone from you know, seven years old on through, you know, 18 years old is going to be purchasing a new bat. So good year to be uh, in the bat industry. Mental skills performance, uh, very important in the sport of baseball. You know, baseball is known as a game of failure. So, you know, maintaining a positive attitude, understanding self-motivation, anticipation and decision making are things that, you know, um, research has been done that shows that elite level athletes are able to anticipate and make decisions in tough situations you know better than novice athletes uh, concentration and focus very important both in competitive settings and also uh, practice settings emotional management you go back to baseball being a game of failure you know you really have to understand how to control emotions such as anger and frustration things that are going to negatively impact performance uh, on the other side of that, you know, there's a lot of things that occur on a baseball field that are outside your control but have a direct effect on your performance. You know, example of a batter who has no control of the umpire calling balls and strikes, a pitcher who has no control over whether his teammates field the baseball, but both of those things still directly affect their performance. So that can be very frustrating when things aren't going your way, but, you know, it's not necessarily within your control you have to really be able to manage those emotions in order to maintain you know a positive outlook and um, maintain a high level of performance positive mental imagery and positive self-talk are, are things that you know can really help boost performance you know especially when you've got players who get down on themselves 
those types of things are gonna are gonna really pay dividends if you uh, buy into them and really devote some time and energy to it. Behavior management. Uh, the number one thing that we want out of behavior management is effective interpersonal interaction. You know, treating your teammates well, treating your opponents well, uh, learning to be a team player, learning how to fit within, you know, your team. Uh, the development of positive habits, this can be something that's going to really make a huge difference in your success or failure, especially as you get older. Uh, the use of goal setting is something that anyone who wants to improve anything should be using a goal setting system. We use smart goal setting with all of our players in order to identify you know, specific and measurable goals um, you know, to kind of track progress so that players are working for something. Uh, having a growth mindset, being able to take any situation, no matter how negative, and um, you know, make sure that you you feel like you're getting something out of it. Um, the inspiration desperation of theory of behavior uh, behavior change basically states that you know people either change if they're inspired or out of desperation. So an example is you know the cigarette smoker who uh, you know, has smoked his entire life and won't change his behavior until, you know, he gets lung cancer. So he, he changes behavior out of desperation. Um, clearly, you know, in, in our line of business over here, we're working more through the inspirational side of things. Um, you know, uh, desperation may come into play, but, you know, when you're working with developing athletes, it's more about inspiring them to work hard rather than putting, it, putting them in situations of desperation. Game IQ, um, this is basically going to be everything that encompasses, you know, playing the game. Rules, strategy, tactics, skill strategy, history of the game, position-specific knowledge. Um, a lot of players in the game right now, young major leaguers, are being um, criticized uh, for not having a very strong game IQ. And a lot of this um, is because the first... Uh, generation of baseball academy players are in the big leagues right now, and these are very well trained players. These are players who have been, you know, exposed to the, the highest level of coaching their entire lives. Um, but the knock on them is that they don't really know how to play the game. You know, they didn't learn how to play the game like the generation before them did, which was basically in the sandlot. So um, we try and make sure that game IQ is a big part of our program because we understand that even though. You know, we're really into tech, utilizing technology and sports science to maximize performance. You know, you really have to have an understanding of the game, you know, the strategy, the tactics, and, and a, an appreciation for the history of the game in order to truly succeed. Quick little bonus here, competition. We couldn't find a good place for competition to, to really settle, so we kind of just threw it in on, our, on its own. Um, the first thing about competition or competitiveness is that training competitiveness has not been studied extensively. Um, it is essential to maximize performance development, okay? Um, you know, the ability, the ability to compete can take on a lot of definitions and it's difficult to quantify, which is one of the reasons why it hasn't been studied extensively. Um, a quick little uh, you know, one sentence uh, description that we put down is being competitive requires an integration of physical ability, mental performance, and emotional control, and then applying that to a competitive situation. So, you know, competition, it, it's not, it doesn't fall in one category. It's kind of, you know, it's multiple categories of the model uh, working together. Um, but it's something that we're very fascinated with, something that we, you know, obviously we love to compete and we love our players to compete. So, um, you know, we'll be putting out much more information on competition here in the future. A uh, little summary of the performance model. The goal is always going to be long-term development of the complete player by maximizing each component of the model. Uh, the training systems that we design um, are specifically are specifically engineered to improve each component of the model and something else to understand is that implementation of proper systems at specific stages of development is necessary in order to maximize performance development so just like anything else you know there's a progression to this type of stuff you know we don't take a seven-year-old who's still trying to learn movement 
learn proper biomechanics and start working on mental skills performance. So, you know, you got to make sure that you move things along in the right in the right sequence. Um, otherwise, you know, you can confuse players, you can frustrate players. And, um, you know, we're trying to do this in an optimal manner. So that's our performance model. Um, a couple of places you can find Baseball Performance 360 at Twitter. Twitter, we're at BP underscore 360. Email us if you ever have any questions or comments. We love to hear from people who are checking out our stuff. Obviously, you know, this is something we're quite passionate about, so we really like to keep an open line of communication. Baseball Performance 360 at gmail.com. The website is our central hub. You know, all of our information will be there. You can check it out, baseballperformance360.com. Um, YouTube videos like this, youtube.com backslash bp360video. You can also check us out on Facebook, our page, Baseball Performance 360. Search it. You'll find us. Lots of good information there. And then we also have a Vimeo.com um, backslash Baseball Performance 360, which is another um, another video site. Uh, just kind of does a classier job than YouTube, but uh, both highly effective. So that's where you can find us. Thanks for stopping by. We'll talk to you soon.